This is Vasavi from Mat Home. So let's see the lesson polynomial in today's class. Actually, the word polynomial comes from poly means many, okay? And nominal means terms. So it is a combination of many terms. The polynomial is a combination of many terms. To describe it even further, I can say polynomial is an expression consisting of variables you can see the expressions here it consists of variables like letters okay alphabets and coefficients that is say for instance you have a polynomial x cube minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 okay so now these are the variables which we use so you call them variables, right? So we use letters, that is variables. Then you can have coefficients. Coefficients in the sense, these numbers, the, the constant which you see in front of the x terms are the coefficients, okay? So these are the coefficients. So it consists of variables and coefficients. With all addition, subtraction, multiplication, operation in between. Okay. Only these operations you, you can find in between. That is, you can have addition, uh, subtraction, multiplication and the exponents. So, what does a polynomial have? It consists of constants. See here, the 7 is constant. And all the coefficients are constants. Because the value doesn't change. So, it, it the polynomial can have constants. It can have variables like x, y, z and all that. Alphabets. And also exponents. Exponents like here you see x cube, x squared, right? So, all these uh, are uh, exponents. So, here you should remember that the exponents can be positive numbers only. No negative numbers are allowed here. The polynomial could be called in different names depending on the degree of that polynomial, okay? So, say for instance, I have taken some uh, few polynomials with one variable. I say it is with one variable because in these examples, you see only one variable given, that is x, right? So, in every polynomial, I have used only one variable. So, these are the polynomials with one variable. So, how do we fix the degree, okay? When the degree is 0, you will just have the value constant, okay? There, in the polynomial, you won't have any other term except the constant. Because here, this I can take it as 10 times x raised to 0, okay? And we all know x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Anything raised to 0 is 1. So, that is why it is 10. 10 times 1 is 10 here, okay? So, when the degree is, when the constant is given, when just a number is given, you can say that the degree is 0. So, when the degree is 1, see, in this equation, you find that the power of x, the highest power here is nothing over here. So, you take it as 1, okay? That means it is a linear equation, linear uh, polynomial here this is very easy to solve all you need to do is take keep your uh, variable on one side and take all the constants to, on the other side you arrive at a answer next is polynomial with degree 2 okay so when we say polynomial with degree 2 it means a quadratic equation we all know a quadratic equation right so the highest degree would be uh, 2 here and then it is called quadratic equation. You can use the formula and find out or you can factorize and find out the values of a quadratic equation. That is also easy to solve. Next, 3. When the degree is 3, you call it a cubic polynomial where your degree starts, the highest degree starts with 3. Okay, And you have terms after that. And here also, it is quite easy with formula, you can solve these equations too, these uh, polynomials too. And if the degree is 4, you call it quartic, 
but after see as the degree increases you find that solving the polynomial is uh, more harder okay this is cortex polynomial where your highest degree would be 4 here and when you have the highest degree is n you call it n degree polynomial we can also call this one as fourth degree polynomial third degree polynomial okay it is n degree polynomial so we know if one variable is used that is if the polynomial is with one variable you know how to find out the degree right just look at the polynomial and the highest value as exponent would be your degree of that polynomial what's if you have more than one variable in a polynomial in a given polynomial see here i have taken some examples so before that let me tell you when you have more than one variable you just add up say for instance if you have 3a square b plus 3a b plus 3 if this is the polynomial given how do i find the degree of this polynomial so i just add up the the exponents of the variables okay so here it is 2 plus 1 so that's 3 and here it is 1 plus 1 right for a it is 1 exponent is 1 and so here the highest degree is 3 so i would say that this is third degree polynomial okay since you have more than one variable you have to add the exponent of each term and then decide the degree of the polynomial so you have 2a cubed plus 3a squared plus 4a you just have one variable here all a right so here your degree is the highest degree which is 3 okay i can say the degree is 3 now for the second problem you have two variables more than one variable right so what did i say you have to add up the exponents of these two variables okay so this would be 3 plus 1 so that is 4 understood and here it is a squared so this is 2 and here also it is 2 so the highest degree here is 4 understood you take the highest degree of the i mean you you have to write the degree of the term which has got the highest exponent now here in this don't mind whether the coefficient is a fraction or a negative number or positive number you're least bothered about that so your x here x is 1 and y is 2 so that is 1 plus 2 is 3 here okay the exponent is 3 for the second term also you have the exponent for x is 2 and the exponent for y is 1 right so there also it is 3 and here for the third term your exponent is 1 so the highest degree here is again 3 and for the fourth one you have 4n square n so here again divided by 6 i told you fraction doesn't matter your uh, variables are on the numerator so just add the exponent this is 2 plus 1 3 okay the first term's exponent total is 3 here it is just 2 so the degree here would be 3 understood and here again it is all one variable so there is nothing to add you just take the highest uh, exponent so that is also 3 so this is how you find the degree of a given polynomial okay now what's if the fraction if it is given as fraction i said when the uh, coefficient is fraction you needn't bother but here the expression itself is a fraction you have a polynomial in the numerator as well as a polynomial in the denominator so what you do is find the degree of the numerator subtract it from the degree of the denominator and then that would be your the that would be the degree of the expression okay so for the numerator the degree is 2 okay for the denominator the degree is 1 so this is 2 minus 1 and you can say that this is 
the degree of this polynomial is 1. Okay. In the second one, here you have the polynomial in the numerator. The exponent is 2. Uh, the highest degree is 2. For the second, uh, for the denominator also the highest degree is 2. So you get 2 minus 2 and this is 0 degree polynomial. Okay. 0 degree polynomial. And the last one here, the numerator has the highest degree as 1 and the denominator has highest degree as 2. So that's 1 minus, that is equal to 1 minus 2. Always the numerator minus the denominator. So that is minus 1. The degree of this polynomial is negative 1. And here when I say degree, the degree can have several meanings in math, okay? If we are doing the geometry part, what do you mean by degree is the measure of the angle, okay? For measuring the angle, you say like 36 degrees. This is also called as degree or 90 degree. So the measure of an angle is shown in degrees. In algebra, degree is the largest exponent of a polynomial with one variable and uh, when it is more than one variable you have to add up the uh, exponents in each term and the highest value you take and when it is fraction you just find the degree of the numerator and the degree of this denominator separately subtract them and get the degree of that expression hope you are clear with the polynomial and finding the degree of any polynomial, right? So we can do further in the next class. Thank you.